up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mina and I make videos every Wednesdays and every Fridays and today's video is going to be the drop one save one book edition book series edition so I actually made a makeup version of this as well I believe I had already posted it before this one so I will link it down below and up above but um, because I enjoyed the makeup one so much I decided to do the book version if you don't know what save one drop one is I actually got this idea from Jesse the reader I will link his video down below because that is what inspired this video basically it, it is you put like, however many papers you want of one thing versus another so like Basically, I'm doing 10 rounds, and it's like 20 papers, 20 different book series, and I'm going to pick two out, see which one I would save and which one I would drop, and I would tell you the reasons. And basically, with the makeup thing, it was the same thing. You pick out two, you say which one, which brand you would save, which brand you would drop. Um, and yeah, I thought this was a very interesting idea, and I enjoyed the makeup one so much that I decided to do this one as well. This is all the book series that I've read, that I've somewhat enjoyed or really enjoyed. Um, it's a mix of of everything if you want a standalone a standalone books version of this let me know because i think that would be super super interesting i'm gonna pick two out we're gonna talk about them and i will tell you which one i will save which one i will drop let's get started i'm gonna pick one. Oh, i want to pick one from the bottom so. okay we got the mortal instruments please don't be the infernal devices god versus harry potter oh my god Oh, oh, we're starting off real strong. I know, I know, JK Rowling is the most atrocious human being. Like, one of the worst people. Uh, it's such, such a disappointing thing. But, Harry Potter actually saved me from a lot in my childhood. And it really was one of those things that I found safety and comfort in when I was little. And it's still to this day, it's like one of my favorite things that in the winter time I will always watch the movies and read the books um, because I love Harry Potter so freaking much and to death. I, I, I also really, really love The Mortal Instruments, don't get me wrong. Um, the Mortal Instruments is one of my favorite series of all time. I read it on a recommendation of a friend and I got obsessed with it and I will never forget finishing the first book and just throwing it across the room at my door and just being super angry about it and just being super attached to these characters and... You know, I love the Mortal Instruments, but definitely not as much as I love Harry Potter. Um, so I think I would save Harry Potter and drop the Mortal Instruments just because of how much Harry Potter means to younger me and how much it, it helped me through. So just due to, to, due to that, Harry Potter would definitely, definitely be saved and the Mortal Instruments will be dropped. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I can't believe we started off that rough. Like, that's ridiculous. We got the Raven Cycle. Versus to all the boys I've loved before. Ooh. Ooh. I think... Well, this really depends on what you're in the mood for. If you're, like, in a... Like a... Like a... You want to be upset and sad all the time mood. Or if you want something lighthearted and cute that you will just get through within, like, two days. Ugh, this is harder than the makeup one. I think I would save the Raven, the Raven Cycle. Because of the fact that I love the characters in that series so much and they go through so much like so much heartbreak and so much heartache and so much pain that they deserve to be picked this one time you know to all the boys i loved before it's cute it's lighthearted. it's been turned into a movie it's adorable it's one of the cutest books you've, you'll ever read but i think the one that means more to me is definitely the raven cycle just because of how much i love the characters and their friendships and the family bond that they created and how much I love blue, so yeah, I would save I would save the Raven Cycle and drop to all the boys I loved before. Don't come at me. Okay, I love Peter and I love Lara Jean and her family and the family dynamic, but I, listen, don't argue with me, argue with your mama. One. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, it's so hot in here. We got the Lux series by Jennifer L. R. Mitrout and the Hunger Games. This is really easy. I would save The Hunger Games just because of how much it, it is like a, a, a wonderfully, wonderfully written series and the movies are so well done and it was such a big deal and such a big part of my life when I was a teenager that I definitely would save it. It's less problematic than the Lux series. I love PETA and I love um, 
Katniss. Katniss is like one of the the strongest female leads I've ever read, unlike the the female lead in the Lux series. Um, yeah, I mean, due to like the deepness and the pain and the suffering in the Hunger Games is way more than the Lux series, and it means that there's a lot more meaning there. So I would save I would save the Hunger the Hunger Games, and I would drop the Lux series, and that's that's pretty easy. On to the next. I forgot what round we're on, so. Okay. Ooh, A Court of Thorns and Roses versus Daughter of Smoke and Bone. What the fuck? I hate this so much. I hate this so fucking much. I hate this a lot. I hate this a lot because I read those at the same exact time and like one after another and they both put me in a depression that it took forever to get out of. Oh, I hate this so much. Why would you put them against each other? Why would you put them against each other? You put Rysand versus Akiva. Why would you fucking do that? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I can't do this. I can't do this one. I really can't do this one. Can I just say both? I don't want to drop one or the other. I don't want to. Like, imagine one not existing. I would not be the person I am today. And that's not even being dramatic, okay? I hate this so much. I want to rip these papers and never look at them again. Okay. I know if I put my hand in there and choose again, I'm gonna get chewed out. I'm going... I'm going to save the Daughter of Smoke and Bone and drop A Court of Thorns and Roses. I will save a Daughter of, of, of Smoke and Bone because I actually literally booked a trip to Europe for a month on my own with a tourist group that I knew nobody in just to go to Prague because of daughter smoke and bone like I literally booked a trip just because of that just to go to Prague and I have a wishbone tattooed on the back of my behind my ear so I mean I have a tattoo for it so you know um yeah I, I would save the daughter smoke and bone and drop Akatar but I don't want to talk about it nobody asks me questions about it I love Akatar just the same in a, in a perfect world in an ideal world I saved them both. There we go. One. We got two. Let's see. Twilight versus Vampire Academy. Ha! Two vampire books. Who would have thought? Look at how that worked out. I would save Twilight, and that is easy for me. I would save Twilight and drop um, Vampire Academy. I didn't really enjoy Vampire Academy all that much. I didn't see the hype over it. The movie was trash. Like honestly, it really was. Um, although I love Vasilisa and the other main character that I can't remember the name of right now, I think Twilight is better simply because of that, that baseball scene. The baseball scene, that's it. The baseball fucking scene. Twilight was there for me when I was like 14, a freshman in high school, and I wanted a truck because of Bella, and I loved the soundtrack so fucking much. It, it means everything to me. Um, Team Edward all the way. Um... Yeah, I'd save Twilight just because it, it's existed longer and meant a lot more to me than, than Vampire Academy. I know the names of the main characters. Like, if, if Jasper and Alice aren't your faves, reevaluate yourself, sis, because they are, they are superior to everyone else. That was easy, thank God, to make up for the one I had to do before. Atrocious! Roaches, as Nicki Minaj would say. Okay. We got Divergent. It's gonna be hard to beat this. Please don't be shattering me. Oh my god, please. Ooh, it's not, it's not, okay. Okay, so we got Divergent versus The Selection. So Divergent by Veronica Roth and The Selection by Kira Cass. This is the easiest shit I ever have to do. Divergent all the way. First of all, I ha my first tattoo was Divergent related, and it says Be Brave. Um, Triss was one of the first, if not the first, female protagonist that changed the way I see life. Um, and she is one of the first if not the first female character to make me deal with pain differently and to become stronger and she inspired me to no end like I wanted to be Triss so bad um, meanwhile America on the other hand she just does not deal with conflict she does not do the right thing ever stupid and didn't deserve Maxin in the least like I will 100% choose Divergent Mostly over any other book, honestly, because I it just means that much to me. It changed my life. Saga, the um, 
it's a graphic novel story versus Throne of Glass. Ooh. It's gonna make some of y'all real mad, but don't come at me. I would save Saga and drop Throne of Glass because I stopped reading Throne of Glass halfway through because what I wanted didn't happen and the love of my life wasn't endgame. So I, I don't care about Throne of Glass. I really don't give two shits. Saga, on the other hand, tears my heart out every fucking volume that comes out. I've read every single one as far, this far. Um, tears my heart out of my chest. It's very NSFW, so like... Don't read it if you're a child, don't read it if you're in a public space. It's very graphic, um, but it is so deep and such a good story and so well written and like honestly, it's one of the best, the best graphic novel stories I've ever read and I definitely would save it over... What? What is it? I forgot what the other one was. Uh, I would save it over Throne of Glass. And we got Maze Runner versus Lunar Chronicles. Okay. I would drop the Maze Runner and save the Lunar Chronicles because the Maze Runner is the most boring book series I have ever freaking read. It's so boring. It's impossible to read through. So much description and like huge ass paragraphs. The, the movies are so much better in my opinion. Dylan O'Brien, dude. He's, I don't even know the, the names of the characters. Like if you if you put a gun to my head and ask me what the names of the main characters in the Maze Runner series is, I would not know. I could not tell you. Tell my family I love them. Um, but the Lunar Chronicles, it is one of the most heartwarming friendship groups that I've ever come across in any series. I love them to death. Um, like, Cinder is one of the best books to exist. I love this universe so much and I would save Lunar Chronicles because it came at a right time in my life where I needed to listen to it and it makes me super nostalgic anytime I even think about the series. And I love the friendship so much between every character in that series. So I would save Lunar Chronicles and drop the Maze Runner, even though... Yeah, I just don't like the books. I just don't like them. We got Percy Jackson series versus Shatter Me. Okay, this is not that hard. Um, okay, I would save Shatter Me and I would drop the Percy Jackson series. I have a tattoo that says Ignite on the back of my neck going down my spine. Do you really expect me to choose anything over Shatter Me? Like seriously, it's not going to happen. Warner is the love of my life, like since I read about him since day one. And I think I first read this series in 2014? 13, 14, which is ridiculous. I was a junior in high school and I grew up with Warner and Tara Mafi is one of my favorite people in the world. Um, her and Ransom and their daughter are the cutest cutest I've ever seen. Percy Jackson is a good series. It's, it's a nice series, but it's a middle grade, first of all, and as good as it is, it really didn't, like, tug at my heartstrings as much as Shatter Me did. Like, when I read, which one was it? When I read, when Restore Me came out and I read it, I was in depression for a good month after that because I just, listen, and Warner speaks Arabic. I am Arab, so it really, like, I love Warner with all of my heart. No one ever beats Warner, like honestly. And I have a tattoo of the word he tells Juliet. So like, do you really expect me to choose anything over Shatter Me? Yeah, it's not happening. Last round. I honestly don't even know what these could be. So we got, ooh, ooh, no, 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 don't do this. It's the Infernal Devices versus Mara Dyer. Not that hard, honestly. I would save the Infernal Devices and drop Mara Dyer because Will Herondale. Do you really need me to say anything else? Like, Will Herondale is the sexiest man. No, that's a lie. I just spoke about Warner for like 10 minutes. He is one of the sexiest book characters I've ever read about. I love him so much. Him and Tessa are so cute. This book series tugged in my heart like no other. It really put me in a depression when I finished it. Um, Clockwork Princess destroyed my heart and destroyed my will to live when I finished it. Um, so yeah, I would save the Infernal Devices over Mara Dyer. Even though I love Mara Dyer, Mara Dyer had me freaked the fuck out when I read the last book. Like, I honestly was so scared of the villain in that story, if you even call him a villain. Um, I was spooked. Like, I would really think there were things and, like, see things and hear things and be petrified because of that book. So it was really well written, and I love Noah to death. There was, like, a second trilogy that came out and it was like from Noah's point of view. It kind of ruined it for me. I wish I never read it. I wish I could erase it from existence because it just was not great. Um, I would save them for no devices just because I love them to death 
and I love the characters and I love the universe. I mean, the infernal devices and the mortal instruments, dark artifices. I love that universe so much and Cassandra Clare is one of the best authors in my opinion, so I would save the infernal devices. If you don't, you need help. If you choose any other way, you need help. That concludes this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy making book content so much. If you are, if you enjoy watching book content, I will put down below my ranking book series video because that is one of my favorites as well. And I ranked all these series in like a tier ranker. Uh, so I had a lot of fun doing that as well. So if you want more book content, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will make that happen. Um, if you want the standalone books also, like the standalone version, the standalone book version of this, let me know down below by clicking the thumbs up or leaving a comment and I'll do that because I think this is very fun. Um, even though it stresses me the fuck out and I'm indecisive, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video. Let me know down below if you would choose any differently and why you would choose differently. Um, even though you might be wrong, I'm just saying. Um, but let me know down below. I, I would love to have a conversation about what your favorite books are. If you have any book recommendations, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember to keep your head, heels, and standards high and to treat people with kindness. And I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Los Sausage is out. Bye, guys. Yeah.